Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here today going to work on some things that are on my desk. Specifically, I wanted to show you how I put together um, my own journal kits for retreats and um, you could use them for on the go, you know, if you're going to uh, go camping, put put one of these kits or multiple of these kits into your camper and work on them. It's just how I organize uh, organize a journal. As you know, in my last three-day retreat, I made six journals. And it's only because I organized it and did all the prep ahead of time. So let's say hi and hugs and let's get started. Hi and hugs to Sandy, Jennifer, Jody and Lucy. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. And off we go. I have piles of stuff around me um, in order to do this, but um, but I tell you, it really, it really does work. So, first of all, I have the journal cover done already. I may put a pocket in there, but basically the journal cover's done. So that we can set aside. Um, this particular kit is um, Summer Bloom Celebration, and it's a collaboration with Rach and Bella Crafts and Line Dot Arrow. And this was sent to me for an Etsy share. And so I have pre-cut, all the ephemera has been cut out. And then the pages were one-sided. So I've taken the decorative pages and sewn them together. And that's how I use a lot of the kits that are sent to me for Etsy shares and only one-sided print. Some people print on two sides for me, which is great too. But um, this is the way I solve that. So this is A4 paper. And so it's about 11 and a half, almost 11 and three quarters instead of 11 this way. It is eight and a half this way. But I think it's going to work okay for my journal. So once I have picked out what I'm going to use, let's just check this. Yeah, that's going to be fine. It just fits, but we'll put some lace on edges and no one will be the wiser. So, okay, so um, I do the, I, I pick out the cover and the kit or the digital kit that's going to go with it. And, um, oh, that might be nice on the inside or the, you know, the middle. Let's just look and see. There's another one. Ooh, let's do this one for the middle. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm going to fold it this way. Um, so, yeah, do the cover, then pick the kit and or, you know, both at the same time. If you find a kit that you like, you go make a cover or find one in your stash. Um, and then I put the signature all together. I don't sew it in. I do that. I do that at the just in case I want something extra or something that I haven't thought of. But basically, the um, basically the signature will be put together, and um, so get that all together. Then I start to collect pre-made ephemera and that sort of thing. Uh, to add to the kit and and then I've got my cut ephemera from the digital kit which can can be you know fancied up or done something more with at at your destination whether it be a retreat or camping or whatever but I had all this out because I was going to go to a retreat in February here but um, as it turns out my granddaughter has basketball that whole weekend um, and so we're going to her basketball instead now this is going to be a fatty McFatso because this is thick paper that uh, was printed on 
So see, that is going to poke out a little bit, but that's okay because we'll just put, I'll just put lace on, on those and they'll be just fine. So, okay. So I think I had pulled a few papers. Let's just see what I had pulled to go with this. I have coffee dyed. I have this stenciled page, another coffee dyed, um, uh, you know, pattern dyed. This is a page from Rhonda Winstead. She is Rhonda without an H on Etsy. Another coffee dyed. Here's another one of Rhonda's. I really have these all upside down. <laughs> and then, and then this one with a little tab on it, I thought went well too. So um, I do have all of my, a bunch of papers that I need to sort through anyway, but I have a bunch of papers that we could add if we need another piece. But we've got seven um, digital papers, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, which is what I like to put in my one signature journals. The only thing I might grab, um, if I can find them here, is I do have some coffee dyed paper sacks. I think I'm gonna put one of these in there. I do in the signature. Okay, so we could actually just go like that. And then what I do is I take a digital and then I put, um, put a coffee dyed paper in the middle of each. And I try to make sure that whatever the coffee dye is, um, goes nicely with the other side of the page. So we're just going to go every other one here. And then if we end up with an extra, we just deal with that at the time. Ooh, this would go, that would go really nicely there. So I think I'm going to switch that around a little bit. Put that there. This one here, that one, that one, that goes okay. We might find, I think this one would go better. So let's take that out. Yeah, I like that better. So this one, we're going to put here and put. one there and then we just have to find a home for the pink which I don't know okay I think maybe we'll just go right there like so okay okay so our signatures put together I'm gonna just put it in its cover, like so, ready to go, right? Okay, then what we're gonna do, we have we have all of this. This, I did keep this because I think I could use the edges for collage, you know, as I'm making the journal, okay? So those are the pieces we have ready so far. We have our cover, we have our signature, we have our cutout ephemera pieces. Now next, what I would like to do, and I'm just gonna keep this out because it has the colors. Next, I go through my ephemera that's pre-made. So first I go through the pockets and I try to find a dozen. If I don't find a dozen, that's okay. That's what I like to put in a journal. As you know, I like to put six in the front of the signature and six in the back of the signature. Pockets or fabric flips or something like that. So let's do the pockets first and we'll just see what we have that would work in this journal. That one could work color wise. And then I just pull them out. Actually, that goes really well too. And usually I try not to do more than one of the same style 
you know what I mean? Like another one of, of these. So we'll just say that's good there. Um, now we have these little guys, which I just lost one out of. Let's see. Goes there. Um, these little woven pockets. Just going to look and see if any of them. That actually goes really well. There's a page right up here that that might go really well with. So, okay, we have one of those. So we have three pockets so far. Let's just, let's check out these, this type. And I do have them kind of by type of pocket in my in my little basket here, so that um, so that I can tell if they go. Like that one will go. That's four. Um, that one could go. That's five. It's a little girl, little girl with the rain. That's. But that's cute. Okay, let's do that. That's five. Then I have my double pockets here. Um, that one may go the best, but I'm not sure if it's going to go. We'll put that as just a maybe for the moment. Okay, I'm flipping through some that just absolutely won't go um, this one that one could go when I prepared my um, that one could go too um, when I prepared the ones for my May retreat I that one definitely goes I pulled out the ephemera well, well ahead. And it's kind of like, okay, I forgot I even had that, you know. Um, maybe could go. This was one somebody made for me. I think that would go. Okay, that goes with that. Okay. Okay, okay, so as far as pockets go, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I can do pockets that um, pockets that go out, you know, like if there's pockets in here, which there probably is some sort of pocket that we can create out of the um, yeah, so here's, yeah, there's, there's a lot of pockets in there. So that's good. Okay, so we're done with that. Now, I think I might go ahead. Guys, did I? Oh, yeah, it was right about one o'clock, I think. Okay, um, let's look now at fabric flips that would go, um, I'm almost thinking this one on the top might go with this. I think maybe it could. Let me just look at the journal itself a little bit and just see. Yep, that would go great. Okay, so there's our fabric flip. I'm going to leave these out because we have a couple, we have more to do. Okay, so there's that. Now I want to look at tags and belly bands and such. Let's look um, let's look at tags first. So this is my done tags box and this one for sure goes great. Um, that would go. This I just made for piles of paragraphs and it will go. And then as I was working on these, um, 
throughout my uh, retreat, if I had leftover ephemera from this one, I would I would pass it along to the next one if if I needed a little something. Oh, there's a lot that goes with this kit. Wow. So that's awesome. Let's see. That one maybe could. No, not so much. I'll leave some for the others too, don't I? Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. The thing is, you don't know the size sizes that you're going to necessarily want and things like that. So, um, getting a variety of sizes is a good idea. I think I like that one the best of those. I'll put those in the front with the smaller tags. Okay, so just going through and seeing what else we have that too dark. Yeah, I still have some more of my slow stitch tags that looks really neat with the fabric flip too let's use that one this one actually nope don't like it as well I got quite a few of those tags done before the old hands gave out okay just digging through and what about this one maybe Okay, so that, that about does it for the tags. Great. Now, I grab my big ephemera holder and kind of fill in with some other things that, that might go, that might be fun. There's these. Nope, I don't really feel like those go. Okay. Um, like envelopes and things like that. What's this one? No, that doesn't go, but that's going to go with one we're going to put together. So I'm going to actually throw that over there. <laughs> right now while I'm thinking about it. Okay, this green envelope would be kind of nice in there. Okay, I hope I'm on camera. Oh good, I am. Whew. Okay, so don't need bunches of envelopes, you know, so that might be it for the envelopes. Okay, let's kind of take a peek at journaling cards, which Um, which I'm kind of actually kind of low on, I feel like. How about does this one go? That one goes. How about this one? And that one's fine also. Okay. And then... It's good. Okay, and then these little bags. We've got bags for on the pages. These are super cute. That might go. I'll put that with the things that go on the pages. Okay, so then... The next thing we're going to look at is belly bands that are made already. Let's see. That one actually is pretty good. Let's see. Is 
anything else here. Okay, no, I think that's going to be it. Okay, so there's the belly bands. Then we've got these that can go on a page and flip down. I think I'm going to keep this one. So it's going to go in that, put it on a page pile. And then notepads. I feel like I have several that will go. That's a good one. And that's a good one. Okay. Um, just looking back in the rest of my ephemera, if anything jumps out at me that it needs to live in this book, I will grab it. Okay, I don't see anything. Okay, so I can put those two back. Okay, and then what I do is I have one of these big, these big, um, I don't know, they're probably 13 by 13, I would guess, bags. Oh, no, they're like 15. And I'm going to put this in there. Let me scooch over a little bit. I'm going to put my journal and signatures in there. I'm going to put the pre-cut ephemera in there. And then I'm going to put this ephemera with and then these also with. So this is one complete kit now. Um, so if I take these kits, I take my um, signature sewing in stuff, my two little bags with the needle and all and everything and thread and this, I have everything I need to complete this journal. You know, I may do some stuff to the uh, ephemera that comes with the kit, but that's it. So this, this journal kit is ready to go. Love it. Okay, so let's, let's, do, an, let's do more, because really, we need to. Let's see. Okay, I have this one that's just just getting ready to. And this one is chapter one papers. And oh, I need to put on, I need to put on an inside to my cover. Let's see. Oh, and these need to be sewn around. So there's that. Yep. This one is not ready in that this needs to go. I need to um, Mod Podge that in. So that's job number one. And then I need to sew around these because again, they came to me um, printed only on one side. But I've got my ephemera all cut out. This is chapter one papers. French drawing room is the name of the kit. I have a couple of, of um, pockets that I made with this in mind, so that's good. And then I have put together a few papers. Let's see if there's more papers we can put together. Okay, this has one, two, three, just four printed papers. So I'm gonna need like 11 pages. So I have one, two, three, four, five and a half. Okay, so I need six more pages for this one. This is where my pile comes into. Um, let's, let's grab a few things that might go. This is my um, eight and a half by 14 paper. And I do like to put some of that in. And it's just got all kinds of different colors. But I, um, it just remains to be seen if I have a color that really goes with. 
I like the um, avocado dyed with it. Let's let's grab one of those. Okay. All right. I've already got my Rhonda without an H page, so don't need those. This is avocado eight and a half by eleven. I'm thinking maybe not. We'll just have one. Let's see what else we can find. Oh my gosh. Okay. So not blue. Yellow hues. Not that. Not that. Not that. Not that. Do I have a paper problem? Yes. Yes, I do. Ooh, this would be nice. Some of this. Let's do one of those. This is three insistent dogs on Etsy. Let's do one of these. Paper Baker Creations. Let's do the pink one of those. That'd be nice. Okay, and then we have a bunch of pattern paper. So that really is just picking something that we feel like goes nicely with the kit, you know. Um, I think one of these maybe. one of these. Okay, so that's four of the six we need. Um, let's see what else we have down here. Let's see what else, see what else. Okay, these, no. This one, no. Inked paper art. Glue Patch Studio. Yep, it's I I know it's a little crazy, and I know you'll tell me, <laughs> but but I do love me some paper. Okay, let's see about this. Are these in the? Oh, okay. So it's a small page, but I think I'll include one. Um, okay, I'm going to say for this journal, I actually like this pattern paper a bit better than the one I chose. So, we'll switch that out. Um, and... Already, I think I had a, um, ooh, that's pretty. This is Happy Accident Coffee Dying. These are from Deborah. I'm sorry I don't have the shop name. You're right, I love them. They're perfect for this particular journal. So, so we'll do that. Um, Steampunk Dragonfly, maybe, is the name of the shop. I already have some of those. I already have that. I already have that. Okay. Let's put in a sack. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm close to having enough. 
This is awesome. Love that. Okay, so we'll at least have this ready, to, this part ready to go when we get the, um, when I get the pages sewn together. I had hoped to get that done, but goodness, is there enough hours in the day? I don't think so. Not for this kid. Okay, so let's, on this, I'm just going to measure about, about six, five and a half-ish. Okay. Just measured five and a half and I'm going to fold it and then we'll fold this one back like that just for fun. Okay, so, oh wait, so yeah, there was four there, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so here's 10. like 15 with this and the other small one and then what about a sack okay so we basically have the signature ready for this one but we have two projects we have sewing this paper and putting that on the inside of the cover, which I will just Mod Podge that in, is what I will do. Okay, so we're further than we were, but we're still not ready to put this into its bag yet. So this is the project on top. So that goes back on the desk, unfortunately. I was hoping not to do that. <laughs> oh, and it's going to be the same with this one too, but I think we can find some pages so this one that one I told you was chapter one this one um, is Bohemian Flare this is by dreams etc and that's I grabbed out that envelope I thought it would be good with this and again I have to sew them together so let's see how many pages we'll have we'll have one two three, four, five, six, there's a bunch with this one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, ten pages just with the that. So, and I've got five pages here. So, I've got this one, this one. This has a little, um, a little gal with a tambourine, and so can go with this, that will go, and this. So, okay, so this, oh, and then I got, grabbed a piece of Rhonda's paper. Okay, so again, I have to do some sewing. All I have for this is a couple of tags. Let's look just for fun and see um, what other ephemera we maybe could find that's gypsy-esque. Oops. Sorry, I apologize. Don't mean to offend anyone. The, um, let's see what other things we have that will go with this journal. <laughs> let's just say that. None of those. I'm wondering about the purple. 
for this. Yes, I think the purple pocket will be great for that. I don't expect to find a lot to go with this because it hasn't been super long since I did a similar journal. That one would go. Okay. There's a, there's a lot of purple in this. So that's a possibility. news this is super bright and colorful could maybe I'm going to put that one with this because I think it could go okay so a few pockets I feel like there might be a tag or two oops as I crash and burn coming this way. Um, I thought there was one with the little girl that's dressed like these ladies. I'm doing my best to avoid the word. And for those of you who are new, I got in trouble from some subbies over using the word that starts with G. Okay, I thought I had a little girl in here. I'm trying to think. Oh, I know where she's at. I'm not really finding any tags to go with this, by the way. So there'll be there'll be some making that needs to happen. Yeah, just a lot of nature, a lot of nature. <laughs> okay, I didn't find a single tag, but I know what, where that is. Hang on one second. It's in here, in these. And I've been passing her by because I've been waiting for her for this journal. It's just a little page edge thing, I think. I think I have it. That one would go nice. Hmm, I'll keep it out just in case. Didn't even look in this bucket for the last one, not her. Huh, I'm hallucinating apparently. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know. We'll keep this purple one out for this. Huh. Okay. Well, anyway, I thought that she was in there, but she's not. So I'm not sure. look let's look in the big ephemera box for a quick second and then I'll maybe let you go maybe we'll find our little girl in here we we don't know um, not seeing any envelopes that are particularly speaking to me for this journal yeah I was I'm wondering if it was a journal card I was thinking of. I don't know. But you know the Tim Holtz little girl that I'm talking about, probably. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I used her somewhere. Yeah, not a lot to go with this journal. I apparently need to make some things to 
go with it. This is kind of fun because it's just all crazy. Yeah, that would go. Bands and flips. I don't even see, um, really. That would go well, I think. Oh, and I forgot to look at fabric flips. I feel like we've been here forever. I'm sorry if I'm keeping you over. That might go. Um, these little flippy things I forgot to look at for the other ones. These are from Roxy Creations Challenge. No, I don't think any of them are speaking to me for this one. Okay, well, we are just going to say okay to that, and let's look at the fabric flips for a second, and at least we will have gotten a little bit of that together. Um, get the colors of this over here. There's like every color, purple, blue, there's all the colors. So I'm, I'm actually kind of thinking this isn't too bad. I like this part with this. Um, just kind of peel through a little bit. I like that one better. Oh, and maybe this one better yet. Yep. Okay. So we got a little bit figured out here. Okay. I think that is pretty good. So we've got some of the ephemera figured out. Not a lot, but there wasn't a lot to be had. But we've gone through it, so we know that now. Um, I do have a couple of the tags that are made with the paper that the cover, that is the cover, this. Okay. So, this needs to be sewn. Also, I'm going to put all of these in here. And just kind of keep it all together. And those need to be sewn. Um, I'll show you the other one just quick before we go. have kind of at the ready. I've thrown a few things with it. It's this little cover. It's collage cover with this super cute topper. I think that's from Triple V Vintage, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sorry if I am. And then I thought this would be a great little belly band to go with it. This is one of my slow stitch belly bands. Got cut out all the ephemera. And this kit... Eey, what's it called? It's from Dreams Etc. too. Mama's Gift or something like that. And these need to be sewn together too. More sewing. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five pages. And I've got a few pages here that I pulled out. One, two, three, four, five. So I need about another five. So I think I'll pull those out. Let's see. Maybe super quick we could pull out some to go with this. The colors in this are really muted. So, but there's blue, pink. Let's see, look at the blue. I'm feeling like one of these would go. Ooh. There's a fun 
This is from Paper Baker Creations. Surprises, you know, things you didn't even know you had. So I'm going to take this one. Ooh, let's do this one. Um, I don't want to do too much blue, though. Uh, let's do... Where am I? Here it is. Let's do a little of avocado dyed. And do this. And where are I was looking for my ledger sheets and I can't find them. Oh well. I'll look after we're done. But um, then this will be pretty much ready too. I think this one doesn't want to fold very badly, does it? So, I don't know. I hope this was a helpful video in just letting you know how how I get myself to organize to get as much done as possible when I'm at those retreats. It's just, I mean, I feel like it's an opportunity to really go for it. And if you're organized, now once I've sewn these pages together, I'll have four kits pretty much ready to go. We need to go through the ephemera on this one is all. But yeah, so, so yeah, it really does. It helps and, and you just end up, you end up buzzing right through, which is great. So, um, so I highly suggest doing a little beforehand just to have yourself all ready to go when you get to the retreat. have one of these okay so there you have it there's my there's my how to organize journal kits for retreats or vacations or whatever you're doing so I hope we're at about the right time of course I didn't look at my watch so <laughs> we'll see thanks everybody have a grateful day and we'll see you in the next video bye bye